Hey everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Leah Limro, your Pampered Chef Lady, and we are talking about our brand new deluxe multi-cooker. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, this is our newest, biggest, baddest thing. This slow cooks, it pressure cooks, and it nice. now does sous vide cooking. And we're gonna show you what sous vide cooking is all about today. So it is everything. It does rice cooking, it does desserts, it even has a yogurt function. It makes homemade uh, yogurt. Um, I'm sure you can see on this that it does everything else. It's got eggs in 10 minutes um, that you can do that just fall right off of the, uh, or the shell falls right off. You've got um, all different types of settings on here, including, I don't wanna tilt it, uh, you can also do proofing bread, whole grains, fish, seafood. The awesome thing about this new one is no longer will you be pushing the top to release this button anymore. So we do have the indicator button up top just like our old pressure cooker did, but we do not have the pressure release. The pressure release is actually down here. And also some new functions that we have is you will see your indicator button telling you what's happening. If it's preheating, if it's cooking, if it's almost done, you'll see how much time it has left. Um, and also has settings for altitude for pressure cooking. What? Um, temperatures also on this new bad boy, the sear function has high sear, medium sear, and low sear. So no more burning food when you're just trying to saute or sear something before you put in the pressure cooker. It also now has an on off switch. So right here, you're able to turn it on and off and you also have these prongs to uh, store the cord a lot easier. And then I'm gonna show you a feature real quick that is my favorite. So we're sous vide right now. Sous vide means that we are, um, let me take this off. Sous vide means we're cooking in water at low temperature for longer periods of time. So what that means is you vacuum seal a Ziploc bag or use Pampered Chef's new zipper pouches that we have um, to sous vide. You can do different things from fish, poultry, meats, uh, carrots, you name it. You can also do some egg bites that I'll show you later. We're gonna do some chicken. So I've got some chicken breasts here. All I did was season them up with our smoky applewood rub that is one of my favorites. We are gonna put that in here. With... Can I ask a question? How'd you get that lid to stay up like that? My husband is asking questions because I was gonna tell you that. So the lid now has a lid rest right here. So no more putting it on the counter what? or dropping it or breaking it. That's one of his favorite new functions. So we are gonna be putting that lid right back down. So this is already prepped. We, uh, you actually hit sous vide and it comes up to temperature. Now the awesome thing I have to tell you about doing this is I was skeptical about it, but you put it in, you vacuum seal it, you make sure it's under the water, it cooks for a long period of time. So you can actually cook chicken to 145 degrees to 155 degrees depending on the tenderness you want. Yes, I said chicken at 145 degrees. When you're cooking with water at a lower temperature for longer periods of time, you do not have to have temperatures of 165. So the taste of the food is going to be amplified. And then once this is done cooking, it's gonna take about two hours, but it can sit for four hours. So if you're having a busy day and you wanna prep ahead or you wanna make a bunch of meats and prep ahead, you can do this because the tenderness is gonna lock into the chicken. And then all we have to do is take and sear it on our cast iron to give it a little bit of texture on the outside of the meat. So I'm gonna go ahead and take and put the chicken breast in. Try not to make a mess of this. Try my best. Of course, I don't do well at not making messes, my husband says. So I'm just gonna, since I've already seasoned it, I'm just putting a couple of pats of butter on it. You don't even have to do that, really. Let me rinse my hand real quick. Make sure I can zip it up. So with sous vide cooking, it's, uh, you can cook, it's yelling at me, telling me it's ready. So I'm gonna zip this up. Let me put this in. So the point is to make sure that the uh, chicken is below. You want to get as much air out of it as possible. So I'm gonna be squeezing this under the water to make sure I get as much air out as I can. You want it to be kind of like vacuum sealed. So if you even have vacuum sealed bags, they work well. You can use regular Ziploc bags. Um, and the point is to get it to stay down. Now, some people will use um, clips and spoons to actually hold this down. So once we get this on, let me see if I get this on backwards. I have not done this yet. All right, let me face 
this way because, you know, I'm like, okay, so I'm going to set it up. I've got it on. Okay, it's telling me it's running, it's preheating. Okay, so I believe you set it. It's going to end up setting up the time and going for two hours. What I did want to tell you guys about this is you it comes with our rack. You can actually use our pressure cooker stuff in it. So you, if you have any of the ceramic uh, bowls or things like that, fluted cake pans, you can still use that in the uh, pressure cooker that we have. Um, we also now have the amazing egg mold just like starbucks does the egg bites we can now make them in the sous vide setting you can actually use regular setting too but the sous vide setting we're going to be making that sometime soon as well with the yummy egg bites for everybody so that is it but it comes with a cooking guide to tell you all the ins and outs about all the fun things that you can do with this you can um like i said you can pressure cook you can slow cook just like a slow cooker you can make the yummy homemade yogurt so good but so many different recipes like fast stuff is uh the, the boiled eggs you can do the sous vide carrots those are so tasty so good um but there's tons of recipes tons of ideas it tells you what you need to do step by step um that is one of the uh recipes the fire roasted chicken that you can make in it but i'm telling you the upgrades to this machine are so worth it um, because you can do so many more things than the standard pressure cooker. And I don't know about you, but if I can replace multiple cooking things to one device, then that makes me a happy person. So stay tuned, because as soon as I get this out in a couple hours, I'm going to combine another video so you can see the end result. All right, so now we are done. It has been two hours, a little over two hours. If you look, it does say end. You can let it sit for up to another couple of hours. So if you get busy and forget about it, it's okay. So we're just going to hit stop and turn that off. I'm gonna open this, I'm gonna prop the lid up. We are going to get my, uh, I've got the bag coming out. I'm going to test with our thermometer here it's like the best thing ever because it's accurate it also has a six foot long probe that you can actually put in the quick cooker as well as even in the oven to measure temperature but let's see I open up grab a piece of the chicken breast should have my longer looks like it's longer it's got the butter and everything all juiciness down here this looks delicious now so I'm going to test and see what temperature we're at. I don't know if you guys can see, but that is going up to 1, right at one, close to 150. Yep, 149, 150, which is exactly what we were looking for because you can do chicken between 140 and 150 when you're doing it in a low temperature, so a low heat for a long period of time. So even though most chicken you have to have at 165, you do not have to have it at 165 with the sous vide. And this one is going to be the same. So what happens when you cook with the sous vide is it cooks it evenly all over and it makes it for the most tender, the most juicy, it locks in all the flavor, and um, it doesn't overcook it. So it never overcooks, it always keeps it at the same um, heat. So that's why sous vide cooking has been uh, one of the newest rages. So now I'm gonna save one for another meal, but all we're gonna do now is we're gonna just take and give this a quick sear to give it some texture in our cast iron here. You're gonna hear that sizzle. And this is finishing it. You can do pork, you can use steak, you can do whatever. Just like tomorrow when I freeze that or if I put it in the refrigerator or freeze it, I can come back and sear it the next day and it's ready to go. So this is just going to sear. All I did was put in a little bit of our oil with our oil uh, dispenser here on my cast iron. It's going to give it a nice char and a nice texture on the outside. And then you let it rest for about 10 minutes and you cut it open. 
so delicious and so juicy. It is the best tasting chicken. I tell you, other than the air fryer, it's my new favorite way of cooking. Thanks, guys.